Hey folks, Pete the Hubitat Hub Whisperer here, and today we're looking at a couple of products from a little mom and pop shop called Philips Hue. Maybe you heard of them. So we're gonna use this strip light here and a couple other motion sensors to automatically light the bathroom in such a way that you can relieve yourself at three in the morning without going blind or missing your target. This is the Philips Hue Light Strip Plus. It allows you to control both the white color temperature and the full RGB spectrum of 16 million colors. Glad I'm not the guy that had to count all those. The light strip is 80 inches long and can be cut every 12.9 inches. Which honestly, that's a little disappointing compared to other strips that can be cut as often as every four inches. Now you can also buy extensions to lengthen the strip up to 32 feet and it comes with this little extension connector which you will definitely lose by the time you want to use it. This strip has both Zigbee and Bluetooth connectivity. You can pair it to the Hue Bridge and then connect it to your Hubitat or you can just pair it directly to the Hubitat Hub which is what we're going to do today. So let's go to the bathroom and get this set up then we'll get into automating it. Now our plan is to put this under the toe kick of the vanity. First we're going to plug it in and pair it to make sure it works. Now that we know it works, we're gonna start by measuring our length. Measure once, then pay a fortune to fix your mistakes. That's what I always say. Now you can use regular scissors to cut the strip, nothing fancy. Cut it right here in the dotted line. After we clean the surface with rubbing alcohol, we're gonna peel back the sticker on the back of the strip as we go and adhere it to the bottom of our vanity. No mess, no fuss, pretty easy deal. So phase one complete. Now let's automate this bad boy using a couple of Philips Hue motion sensors. You don't have to use Hue motion sensors for the Hue strips when you're automating with Hubitat Elevation. Any sensor on our compatibility list will work for this. But I will say these are nice little sensors. They're not the smallest, but definitely not the biggest either. In addition to motion sensing capabilities, they also measure illuminance and temperature, which you can use for you know other automations, which is kind of cool. It comes with this cool magnetic wall mount hardware and runs on two AAA batteries, or AH batteries as my son calls them. Much more convenient than those weirdo batteries a lot of devices use. So we're going to use two motion sensors in this automation, one in the hall and one in the bathroom. The reason we're putting one in the hall is that this is our guest bathroom that my wife insisted we put in at great expense under the illusion we will someday have guests. So when our mythical guest steps into the hall, I want the LED strip to illuminate and guide them safely into our glorious bathroom and not into this dangerous mystery room right in front of them. Then obviously we want a motion sensor in the bathroom to make sure those lights stay on while they're there. But now that we've found a couple places that work, let's automate this thing. This bathroom is in our dungeon of a basement, which has basically no natural light. So we really only need two different automations. One for during the day and evening, and one for the middle of the night potty breaks. You could differentiate these on time triggers or other ways, but the best way to do this is using modes. So that's what we're gonna do. If you're not familiar with modes, check out the video link on how to use modes and mode manager after this video. You could automate this whole thing using conditional rules and rule machine, but honestly, I find it quicker, easier, and much simpler to edit later if you just make two different rules and basic rules. So let's start with our normal day evening condition. So this is gonna be triggered when either of the motion sensors we just installed are active. During the waking hours, we wanna turn both the strip light and the bathroom lights on. So we'll say turn on the bathroom light, and we'll select the second action, which is to set the color temperature of our strip lights. And we're gonna set that at 2700K to match the bulbs in the bathroom. So that turns on the lights, now we need to add a wait until our motion sensor sense that motion has stopped and stayed inactive for three minutes and then turn off both the light and the strip. Now to make sure this only happens during the day, we'll add a restriction and select only during day and evening mode. We'll save that and our first rule is set. Now for our emergency bathroom mode. Again, triggered by our motion sensors. This time we only want to turn on the light strip. We want to make our light strip red, which according to some article I just Googled, is the ideal color for your eyes when you wake up in the middle of the night. It also allows your bathroom to double as a dark room for developing film, which is nice. Again, we're gonna wait three minutes until motion is stopped and inactive, and then add an action to turn the strip off. Finally, we go to restrictions and set this to only apply in night mode. And there we have it, a perfectly automated guest bathroom that will probably scare the bejeebers out of our guests. But once they use it, they're gonna love it, I think. So that's it for today. Let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to see more great content and to massage my fragile ego. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.